Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. Hey, where are you? It's time to get ready and film our video on dictation. Here I am. Let's get started. Great. This is our tech bit on using dictation. So you can see um, how easy it is to use dictation from our little intro piece there. Right. And, um, you know, what exactly is dictation? Well, dictation is taking your words and turning them into type right. somewhere. In, right. in the case of what you did in our intro, it was in messages. Right. Um, it could be anywhere. It could be messages, right. email, notes, yep. wherever the keyboard comes wherever up. Wherever you can, you you have a keyboard. Right. You will be able to use dictation. And you will see the little, little microphone, microphone which we'll show down you. here. If you don't see it, don't panic right now. We'll show you how to set it right. up. Right. Right. But you know, dictation is great um, for when you're on the go and your hands are full, or the sun's in your eye, or you right. want to type text something that's a little bit longer, sometimes right. typing just takes forever. Right. Or when you have something, you know, that's, um, you know, unflatteringly called fat fingers. Right. <laughs> and you try to type the T and the R keeps showing up. <laughs> right. Especially on the smaller phones. If you have bigger fingers, right. it can be really hard, hard to do. So yeah. dictation is a great feature there. It so really let's, let's look let's at setting it up. Set it up. Okay. So we're going to go out of the texting app and yep. we're going to go into settings, which is settings. up here. And actually, yeah, it ahead. uses Siri. Okay. Um, so we have to make sure Siri's turned on. Right. And what's the difference between it's Siri, different than Siri and dictation? Uh, because Siri is your personal assistant who you ask to do things. Right. Yeah. Right. You can have her dictate too, but right. dictation is sim strictly, you know, turning your voice right. into text. So with dictation, you have to go into your app and you have to tap, get yep. the keyboard up and do it. Whereas with Siri, you could just say, hey, yeah. Siri, send a message to right. Karen. And she'd say, what do you want to say? And then you're yeah. basically It's dictating. a little more involved. So if you're just looking to right. dictate, this right. is the way you do it. So we go to general, we go to Siri, yep. and then we make sure Siri's turned on. Yep. Um, another thing to point out here is the language. Yep. Pick your native right. language. Don't <laughs> so you pick... can understand it. So you right. can read it, right? Right. <laughs> and so that Siri can understand what you're saying right. as being that language. Like if you put this in German, she will be listening right. for German words. If and you put it in... That would be kind of interesting, right? That would yeah. be a whole different video. <laughs> right. Trying to learn. Right. Learn a language that way. Um, then there's also Hey Siri. Hey Siri is a feature that came out, I don't know, a year ago or so where... You can talk to Siri without actually invoking her. You can just say, hey, Siri. Yeah. And when you set that up, it, it has you say a whole bunch of things, and it, it, it helps Siri to understand your mm -hmm. voice and your dialect. Which will also help in dictation. Which will help in dictation. So set that right. up. So and, let's show us. Let's look well, at there's how. one other thing oh, we need right. to do, and that's also in general, settings in general. We scroll down to keyboard, and we're going to go into the keyboard and scroll down to enable dictation. Aha, uh -huh, that makes sense. And that, we want to make sure that's on or you yep. won't see the microphone. Also, there's an about dictation and privacy right below it. And what that does is it kind of tells you what happens when you dictate. Because when you dictate every 30 seconds or so, it takes and it sends that voice, your voice, okay. off to a server for translation and brings back the, the words and types them in wherever you are. Okay. So this talks about how it does that and what happens and all the privacy issues or information regarding oh, that. Good to know. Okay. Good to know. Um, <clears throat> there is one other thing too, is that you want to go into language and region mm -hmm. and you want to make sure that your region is set correctly. Sure. Okay. Okay. Perfect. All right. And those are the things we need to set up. So now that we're set up, let's go ahead and go into um, somewhere where you would use it. And I really do think texting yeah. is the most common yeah. place. Messages is a great right. place to use it. So again, you can see here's the microphone. Now I want to point out it's not this microphone up here in right. texting. This is a voice mem memo. So right. you could type, you know, click on that and record a voice record message. Record a voice message. I'm always, right. you know, when I first started using dictation, I was always pushing the wrong one. Yeah. But so I'm going to go ahead and press this. I'm just leaving the museum. I'll be there in about 20 minutes. So you can see it typed. And when I was, I'm going to send it. Because <laughs> I wanted yeah. to send what we wanted. To. Yeah. But you could see the voice pattern that came up, which meant it was listening to my voice and recording right. it. Right. Now, Karen just hit send. You can also hit done, and then right. you can edit it. So let's, let's try it up again. Let's bring it up again. Oops, I keep hitting the camera, sorry. I'm just walking out of the subway. I'll be there in five minutes. Now, instead of hitting said, we're going to hit done. 
And you, you can go. see that now it hasn't sent it yet, right. so I can preview it and decide that I like the way it works. Yeah, that's probably a good thing to do. Yeah. Not just hit send right away. Right. Because it's a not a perfect it. system. I no, mean, it's it's it listening isn't. to your voice. That's right. And creating words. So, that's right. yeah. I'll hit done instead of send. Right. That's what I would do and first. And depending on who you're sending it to, you want to be real careful with yes. this. Yes. <laughs> Maybe your hubby or your sister, you don't really care. Right. If you're sending it to your boss <laughs> yeah. or to a coworker, you want to make sure you take a look at it yeah. because you never know. Good point. <laughs> and I think um, another thing to point out here is this right here. See how it said 20 minutes. Now there it right. used the numeral. Right. So um, there, you know, we're showing you now some tips of how to do it well because right. you base, it's pretty easy to do, right? Right, right, exactly. <laughs> and we'll be showing it to you here yeah. over and over. So, so um, if you want to have the numeral, that's fine. You know, if you want it, sometimes it will spell it out and sometimes right. it won't. Well, how can we force it to say numeral? How can we yeah. force it? Well, let's look. Let's see how it does things. I'll take two tacos. So now we can see um, that it's spelled out T-W-O. Right. And you know what? That's a that's a publishing standard. Any number one through nine, you should spell out. Interesting. And above that, it'll be the numeral. But what if you want it to be the numeral? Right. 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 All you have to do is say the word numeral before, before the number. Okay. I'll take numeral two tacos. Perfect. There you go. Two tacos. It's perfect, right? Two tacos to go. Yeah, two tacos. Let's go. I'm hungry. <laughs> That's great. I wish we could have tacos. <laughs> Not today. So um, what are some other things, uh, some, other, these, some other tips for dictation? First of all, speaking clearly is important. Now, mm -hmm. you may find that you can speak. We were speaking in a pretty normal voice, but if you have trouble and if you're in the mm -hmm. early stages of teaching your phone how to listen to you, speak slowly, speak clearly. Right. And sometimes you have to be almost robotic about saying things. Um, just so just depends. Not not so much conversationally. Like, hey, do you want to meet at Fifth Street? It's more like, hey, do you want to meet at Fifth Street? Right, right. <laughs> you know, so you think of it as you know you're asking a machine to understand your voice. Exactly. You're not really don't say it the way you were actually would say it if the person was here. Right. And again, like Barb said, you can you can goof around with Experiment it. Experiment with it. It might understand you just fine talking in your normal conversational voice. Right. But for some people, right. they have to speak a little bit slower and more robotic. Yeah. Um, also, you can say smaller chunks at once. We talked should, about yeah. the fact that every 30 seconds or so, it sends the, the text stream or the, the words that you've been saying off to the mm -hmm. server. So... You know, speaking slowly, do one sentence at a time. Right. You know, take your time. You don't yeah. have to rush through it. And you'll 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 realize this if you start using it and you're saying something that's quite long, you'll notice after about a sentence or two, it'll kind of uh, get kind of not accurate. Right. And so you just need to give it time to catch up. Right. Or maybe it's it lags because you'll see a little right. thing spinning around that that's when it means it's sending it off to the server. Right. Um, the other thing you need to do is you need to specify punctuation usually. Yeah. A lot of times it will put a period in at the end of your mm -hmm. sentence. Sometimes it won't. Um, and what if we want to do exclamation points? So let's say that I'm um, sending this up. I haven't seen Karen for a while. I miss you, exclamation point. So now it'll put an exclamation point in. Perfect. And let's say that I really haven't seen really her. Really miss me. <laughs> yeah. So now let's say I want to do all caps on a word. Oh. I, all cap, really miss you. Exclamation point, exclamation point. So you Aww, can see here. Feel good. Yeah, <laughs> I got a really in there big. So if you yeah. want to do something all caps, you say all caps. It's, yep. If you want to just cap the, the first right, you just letter, you just say cap or right. no cap because Perfect. usually it caps um, proper names and things like that. Yeah. But maybe you want to cap something yeah. that's not catching. Might not catch it. So try that. And, um, well, yeah, I think it works the same as all Yeah, caps. you just say I was cap, gonna, right. uh, One fun thing is that you can use emoticons. Oh, that's fun. And they're not, the same as emojis are the pictures, but the emoticons are just the text version of them. Right. Which is what existed before we had emoticons, if we all can <clears throat> think back that long, right? Right, uh -huh. right. So this is kind of fun. You just say, smiley, winky. Frowny. 
<laughs> and that's so fun. it's kind of fun, right? It's very fun. It's very yeah. fun. So I think, um, like we said, you know, when you're done, hit the done like I did, and then you can proofread it and see. You can see the blue dotted line here. You you know, go back and use autocorrect. You know, oh, what is that? You know, missed. It's yeah, yeah. Whatever. It's not proper English. It's not proper. When well, is you know texting what? We're not ever. proper yeah. English. <laughs> <laughs> when is texting ever proper English? But you know, really? go back and edit it and proofread it, and you can change it with typing. You know, you don't have to do just voice. You can, right. You can go back and type something fix to fix something it up. And typing would probably be easier. Right. And sending eyes gets rid of it and clears yep. it out. Perfect. So, so I think dictation is a great thing to use. It makes, uh, it makes it a lot easier when you're out and about and things like that. Right. So, thanks for watching our video and have fun with dictation! Exclamation point. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Fit. And please subscribe to our channel.